up, Loki Crew? I'm Sarandam, YouTuber you may know nothing about, yet we are here today. I like to collect random 2000s and late 90s collectibles and all kind of random things. So, if that sounds good to you, definitely like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, but no pressure here. Okay guys, I decided to do it on the couch because I just kind of want to switch up the scenery a little bit. And to be honest, y'all, today, what we're going to get into, we are going to get into the WhatNot app. What the hell is the WhatNot app? Why do I keep hearing different influencers talk about it, promoting it, yada, yada, yada. What is it? Like, what is it? Last year, I finally cracked and just went ahead and downloaded the app. It was still kind of confusing. From a buyer standpoint, I didn't fully understand what the WhatNot app is. And to be quite frank, I'm still trying to figure it out. WhatNot was founded by Logan and Grant in California in 2019. It's pretty new. And, and honestly, all it really is is like Instagram Live. But you can actually sell and buy items. WhatNot reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to be part of the stream team. Of course I accepted it. With that being said, every time you guys use my promo code, I get $25 and you guys get $15 off your first purchase. Now, I try to come as professional as possible and make this bumper. Y'all, big announcement. Okay, so back in 2018, I had my own booth at the flea market called Retro Region. So, I decided to bring it back on the WhatNot app. Guys, meet me this Friday on the WhatNot app at my store, Retro Region. That is retro underscore region. On top of that, you guys get $15 off your first purchase if you click that link down below in the description box. I care about y'all so much, I'll give y'all a little sneak peek of what's going on. All right, look, 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 that's it. Again, you can find me on the WhatNot app at retro underscore region. I'll see you guys then. I think the bumper looks pretty cool. You know, a nice little interruption for videos. And I'm here to kind of help clear up some things about what not and what it is. I know a lot of people that go on there that support me. What I decided to do was finally break down and buy something from what not myself to see if maybe I can score something kind of cool. And I did pick up something that I love which is kind of cool. And we'll get into the unboxing of that item later. What we're gonna do is I'll do a screen recording of me going on whatnot and kind of describing what it is and how it kind of works. Okay, so you guys, now that we're on here, um, it has toys. Of course, I collect toys more than anything. But when you first get on here, y'all, you will be overwhelmed with Funko Pops and Pokemon trading cards like crazy. Hella, hella Pokemon cards and Funko Pops. So if that's your thing, this is the perfect app for you. But me, I like toys and collectibles. They do have some toys that, you know, um, are on here other than Funko Pops, but you will be overwhelmed with Funko Pops and trading cards to where it's damn near like you kind of want to give up, to be honest. But what you want to do is, instead of going to search, you can search and go to toys, you can go to all toys, or if you want to be like a little more diverse with toys, you can go to other toys. And when you go to other toys, it kind of shows different collectibles outside of Funko Pops and trading cards. So you'll see like um, here, miscellaneous groups of toys right here. Somebody's going live, as you see, that red circle up there in the corner. That will let you know when someone is live. That's how many people are on the live right now. And off in the right corner at the top, it has 20 or 25. That's how many people save the show. So you can actually pre-save a show before you even, uh, before it even goes live. So you have the Flintstones here. This one is tomorrow, so let's kind of check it out. Sometimes it's like YouTube. You have a cool thumbnail. Oh, cool, it's a cool picture, it has Flintstones. This to me looks like it might have some cool collectibles or something. So let's click it. Now, this one does not have a preview, which kind of irritates me when shows don't have a preview. Cause it's like, 
yo, what are you gonna be selling? I don't even know what you're gonna be selling, but let's try to find something that has a preview. Okay, so look, toys, toys, and toys. This one is tomorrow at 5 p.m. Let's go ahead and check it out. We do have like a cool picture of what items are gonna be sold. So if you see anything in there that might capture your attention, you can go ahead and actually save this right here in the corner, the right hand corner. Now it's yellow and 10 save. So as you see from this thumbnail, it looks really cool. You see the super soaker, you see the Yu-Gi-Oh towel, you see the Polly Pocket, the Beanie Baby. It sets the tone for Y2K and 90s collectibles, right? Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it. Me, I actually have a preview. Not all shows will. A lot of shows don't have previews to what they're selling, but me, I do. I think that only feels right. I only like to give you guys things and deliver it well as if I would like to receive it and what I expect from selling and stuff. So if you want to see the full thing, all you got to do is swipe to the right and you get to see everything play in a better uh, view of everything, right? So we're going to watch this all the way through. We have the Pokemon, Lizzie McGuire, uh, Digimon, the Super Soaker, the Beanie Baby Binder, Polly Pocket. So it kind of sets the tone for what's going to be sold. And then you have a sticker there that you do get with every purchase. And you can follow me right there on Retro Region on Instagram. So what we're going to do is sl slide to the left again. And not again. A lot of stores don't have this. Me, I feel like it only feels right to have, you know, some of my store of the inventory that I'm going to have on live. I want you guys to be able to click on this right here and you should be able to see what items I'm going to have for sale. You should be able to click on this and scroll and, and, and see the pictures that I have. And you should also be able to see the description of each item right here. Now this is the auction and this is what's going to be auctioned off. It's not everything's going to have pictures guys. If I'm buying something, I want to be able to see pictures. I want to know the details of it. I don't want to just have it held up to the screen. And sometimes you might miss something, even just holding it up to the screen. So yeah, I want you all to have good pictures of the stuff. Buy now is pretty much self-explanatory. You buy the items right now that the store has. The giveaways, the giveaways, honestly, I don't know how they work. Everybody does giveaways differently. I don't understand how giveaways work on the whatnot app it's just i don't get it I, I don't but over here is where sold items will be and also you can follow a store if you actually like them you can message the people too okay guys so like i've stated it's a hit and miss on there sometimes you won't find things but you just gotta kind of be a little consistent over time to kind of go into some streams and if you're bored or not doing much and you just kind of want to see what somebody might have definitely go in there you never know what you're going to find for a pretty good price from a buyer standpoint you can find cool little cheap stuff on there every once in a while from a seller standpoint i'm still trying to learn guys and honestly I don't know how long I'm gonna be on whatnot. To me, I feel like I can make more money on eBay than I can on whatnot. And I say that because um, time, it takes time to come out and go live, show each item. Whereas eBay, it's passive. I don't have to be in front of the camera. It just kind of works itself out, you know? And I don't have to bring people to whatnot. And also, um, you know, for example, I just sold a Skip It last week for $15. Now, the Skip It was a 1997 brand new. It didn't have the package, but on eBay right now, Skip It's roughed up around the edges and everything, 1997. Those are actually going for $60, $40, $60, $70. Scratched up. This one was new, y'all. No scratches or nothing on it. It just didn't have the package. And I sold it for 15. And I feel like on the Whatnot app, like I said, from a buyer standpoint, you can find things on there for cheaper. Whereas from a seller standpoint, I don't know if you're trying to get rid of things, trying to make a quick buck, it might be for you. 
they definitely do the the Funko Pop and and trading cards thing as a person selling collectibles. I don't know. Okay, so y'all, let's go ahead and open up this package that I actually bought on the Whatnot app. This is my first purchase. I've never bought anything on there before, but let's check it out and see where we go from there. So, all right. So what we have here, we have a little message. We have some card. Oh, cool. We have little stickers, right? It says, thank you so much, Retro Region. Hope you like it. See you soon. Toy Holics. And they do have a lot of toys and stuff that they sell on their live stream. They're very successful on whatnot because they get things away for cheap, really good items. So as you see there, cool, right? All right, and we got sticker, we get stickers, and you also do get stickers with my um, store too, and I'll show you those here in a minute. But yeah, all right, let's open it up. Well packaged, well packaged. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Anything else? I can just set this here. Well packaged. All right, yo, check this out, this is sick. I don't know what year this is. Cartoon Network, cool. I just don't know what year this is, but this is fucking sick, ah! All right, guys, so let me get down here. We have a Powerpuff Girl mug, right? Look at the detail around there, right? Catching some waves, sick. And also, like I said, they don't have what year it came out, which I wish I knew what year it came out, but this is the bottom of it. That's the bottom of it there. Yeah, it doesn't show what year it came out, but you guys, this is a really cool mug. Look at that. Ah, that's sick. Blossom. Bubbles and Buttercup right there. Yeah, it cost a total of $5. And I believe I paid $9 in, in like some change with shipping total, you know? So this is a cool little come up. That's, this is what I'm saying. Like you can find hit and miss things on there, but I definitely had to have this Powerpuff Girl mug. This is probably gonna be my new favorite mug that I use. When you purchase with me through Retro Region, you guys get a cool sticker, Rugrats Retro Region logo. Duh, it only makes sense. Powerpuff Girls, right? Retro Region. You get the Pokemon Retro Region sticker. Regular Degular Retro Region glitter sticker. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Retro Region. It's just literally Retro Region side by side. Follow me on Instagram at lowkey underscore underscore B-R-E. And also guys, follow me on um, Whatnot. Definitely check out my show, even if you don't buy anything. Y'all, I'm not really tripping off that. Come over, just kick it with me. Come hang with me, man. Let's have a good time. Hopefully I kind of help clear up a little bit of things and how it really works. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for sticking around the video. I appreciate you all so much. And of course, and as always, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. And I will see you next video. Oh, peace. Oh no.